Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Cloudy day, sprinkling a little bit out there today. Today is October 3rd. My intention is to have this posted uh, when I am on a jet plane heading to Australia. So uh, I want you to have something to do while I'm gone, right? <laughs> I posted the picture of this quite a while ago, um, but I've been hanging on to the video so that I could release it uh, when I'm out of town. All right, no more from me this morning. See you on the table. So here's our project for today. This was so much fun. Oh my goodness, it's a little bit big for the table. Here, I worked on it this way for the video, but this is how it will go on the wall. Oh my goodness, it was so much fun. All right, let's get to it. All right, I have an idea for this morning, of course. So uh, I am not quite sure what supplies I'm going to add to the list, but let's start off here. I have a pile of fun underpants that I know we're gonna use. We're gonna use gesso. We are going to use Mod Podge. And a baby blue, of course. This is a magazine page. This is like cardstock. It's actually the front page of my watercolor paper. My watercolor paper is all gone, so I'm going to use the cover to that. My silicone brush is packed for uh, Australia, so I'm going to be using a credit card or a gift card to smear my gesso around. And I have some water-soluble oil pastels that I think I'm going to use. Some fun fabric. If you don't have fun fabric, you can use fun paper. Either one of those. I have a copy of a hot air balloon. Oh, more underpants. Wondered where those were. This is a copy of uh, a template for a hot air balloon. And this is a piece of watercolor paper that is 11 by 15. So we're going to, the uh, hot air balloon is going to go on this way. All right, so what I'm going to do first is take my template, my hot air balloon template, and I am going to glue it onto this cardstock. I'm going to call it cardstock. So I just put some Mod Podge on the back of that. And that's just on printer paper, so it's a pretty fragile paper. And we'll just put it down there. We're going to let that dry and we're going to start putting underpants on our watercolor paper. Let this dry. And I believe we're going to be using a little bit of burlap too. All right, I'm going to start uh, gluing the underpants down. Now, it's going to be vertical where I'm working on it horizontal. So that gives me a little bit different view of how my underpants are going to go on. They're going to go on sideways. <laughs> there. What do you think of that? Oh, still. See? All right. This way. Okay, this is kind of fun because I recognize some of these underpants from being gifts. So this is from Mikal. I call him Mikal. You call him Michael. I think Mikal is sassier. This is from Carolyn. This is from Deb. This is from Brandy and Joe. All these fun little something-somethings there. Uh, this is from My Stash. This is from Handsome Hubby. Um, there's some stuff in this one right here on banking. That's from Jan. So those are just some fun little tidbits that go through my mind as I'm putting my underpants on. All right, we're going to dig into the gesso with that gift card. And we are just going to smear it across our work. Our underpants.
All right, I'm putting two magazine pages down because my piece is pretty big. And I'm going to apply some pretty good pressure. My hope is that I can pull some of the gesso up to expose the underpants, but we shall see. Well done. Beautiful. I'll save those for later. Let this dry. Alright, I'm going to bring my hot air balloon back in and with a pair of scissors I am going to cut it out. Cut it out. Now I'm going to cut out each panel of the hot air balloon. Let's see. We want it that way. And after you get it cut out, I'm going to encourage you to turn it over and put a number on the back of it. So we'll say that this is going to be number one. And then I'll cut this out number two, number three, number four, number five, and then the basket. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, the inner part of the balloon and the basket. So now I'm gonna grab some fun fabric. All right, I have one, two, three, four, five. This is for the inner circle, and this is for the basket, a little piece of uh, burlap. So that's it's a bit big, but we're gonna wait and see how much the balloon can support. I'm going to take this inner and I'm going to leave the numbers and the uh, letters toward me and glue that onto the back of a piece of fabric. So the front will be on the side, the white side. All right. Just going to grab my finger with some Mod Podge on it. And we will let that dry and then we'll put Mod Podge on the other side as well. And I'm going to do that now. Since this is just a little piece, we can put the Mod Podge on there right now. We'll, we'll approach the other ones as we get there. And set that aside to dry. Now this looks like a pretty good combination. Maybe the purple needs to go more in the center. Play with your colors a little bit. Decide how your hot air balloon is going to go. Looks good to me. All right, so we'll start off with number five and we will glue number five. So just glue each panel down. Remember to have the number or the words to face you. And Mod Podge on the side with the fabric. If you haven't played with fabric, you must. It is very fun with fabric and Mod Podge. Very, very fun. And we're going to let those dry. So I have the five done and the inner circle done. And now we will continue. I'm going to grab number four, do the same thing. So do that, add fabric to each panel one at a time. Four is done. Number toward me. Three, two, and you get the idea. Two and one, okay? Kind of fun. 
So if we look at this burlap, it's quite see-through. And that is not going to work for this girl. So I am going to cut out a square a little bit smaller than the basket because I want the fringe at the top and the fringe at the bottom to show. So this is the same cardstocky kind of stuff that the panels came out of. Precisely measured. And I'm going to put some tacky glue on that lining, the basket lining. And let that dry. That's better. Can't see through the basket. These are the oil pastels, water soluble oil pastels by Portfolio. Nothing that I'm married to, that's for sure. I have three different colors of blue, and I am just going to go in here and just play a little bit. And now, a damp brush, not real wet. Damp brush. And let's just move that around some. mixture of the different blues. black. Well, we got the black, so I guess we do want the black. All right. Well, let's play with the black, shall we? All right. We are going to let that dry. That's beautiful. So I let the oil pastels dry for a few minutes by themselves. Now I'm applying heat, which brings a shine back to the oil pastels. So I'm just going to go over it with my heat gun. Okay, this has not been hit with the heat gun, and this has. Can you see the difference in the vibrancy of the color? All right, so remember what this looks like. And now I'm going to hit it with the heat gun, and then you can see the before and after. And there's the after. Now remember, this is going to be like this, but since the screen is better like this, then I have been working like this. But isn't that a gorgeous background? Oh, that was really fun. Okay, so this is completely dry. My fabric pieces are drying slowly. I'm trying to be patient. I'm going to take some sandpaper in and just lift some of the white back up. All right, that was very successful. What I can tell you is the sandpaper does pick up the oil pastel. So don't continue to use it once it's packed with the color because then it starts depositing the color back on your background. 
So just pay attention to what's going on on the sandpaper. All right, I am going to go in and cut it bigger than the actual template there. Do not use your good scissors. Don't use your fabric scissors. Because there is Mod Podge on here. It's more like paper. And then along the bottom just a little bit too. And I'm going to cut out all of the pieces. Just like that. A little bit bigger. Let's see what we have, shall we? One, two, three, four, and five. Very, very good. Okay, so this very straight edge, yeah. I don't like that so much. So I'm going to bring in that same <laughs> sandpaper and I'm just going to go along the edge and rough up the edge of the fabric. And just on one side, you don't need to rough it up on both sides, just on one side. There we go. It's tearing it up a little bit. That's what I'm after. So I put down a piece of cardboard so that I could really get in there and grunge that edge up. Rip it up a little bit. Love it! Okay, so that is number one. Where's, where is number two? Number two. So I am going to use the same side to grunge. So it'll be the right side, my right, and I'll go in here with the sandpaper and grunge up the edge of this one as well. All right, we have one and two done. Oh, I love the frayed edge. Three. I'm gonna grunge uh, both sides of this one because this one goes in the center. So I want both sides grunged up on this one. Okay, one, two, Three, look at that. Yummy, all torn up stuff. So then we go to four. Four is going to be under here. So it's going to be this edge that I grunge up. All right. And I just go along the edge with the sandpaper and then push it out so that it frays. All right, piece by piece, I am going to bring them back in. And glue them together. I'm going to start at the middle at number three. And I will be trimming off some things that are too long, but we'll do that after we get it pieced together. Oh, I love it already. All right, so I have two and three together. I am going to look for four. There's four.
stick four on there. One, glue that there, and five, and glue that there. One, two, three, four, five. I have five panels glued together on the back. There they are, nice and grungy on the edges. Got some overhang on the top. All right, I'm going to let this dry. Oh, I love it. What's it look like with a basket? Let's see. I'm so sticky here. Oh, we forgot our inner circle, which is now not big enough. It's okay. The basket is big enough. Maybe we don't even need that. We don't. That is fun. Where's my Stabilo? That is so fun. Let's bring this in just to see what we have done. That basket could not be any smaller than that, that's for sure. Do we want something along in here? Do we have some more lace? The lace is too fancy. The lace is just too fancy. So we have what we can do. glue that along the bottom. That's a better idea. That's good. I better get this off here. Let it dry. All right, this is going to go here. I have a little patch to put on there. I thought that might be fun. A little big. Let's trim you down a little bit. Making it ragged. So we'll put a patch over here on that hot air balloon. And this is going to go down here. So if this goes here, I want some thread here, like it's coming from the hot air balloon. So it would go to here, 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 here. Do we think that's enough? We'll see. Let me make sure that my dots are down there very good. That's not working so well here. Come on. And here. Okay. I am going to go to the sewing machine. Sorry, Brandy. Now look at this. So I just sewed back and forth with black thread. Went down here along the bottom. I started here, back and forth, down, across, up, 
back and forth. This is actually open here in case I want to slide something down in there. Who knows, I might have an old uh, vintage girl that might be fun to toss in there. We shall see. So now I'm going to take this to the machine and I am going to sew as much as I can. So I will bring it back. This is the before. Okay, look at it, the before. Da 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 da, the before. Now I'm going to go sew it. Oh my goodness. Isn't that cool? So wonderful. All right, I'm going to go around the edges of the fabric and the edges of the pieces with my Stabilo. Really grunge things up. Looks way too new for this girl. So, just going to grunge it up. And I'll bring you back to show you. So I have this uh, photo of this young man. It's out of a photo album. And I'm just going to grunge the edge up a little bit. I'm not going to stabilo this. I'm just taking the sandpaper along the edge. And I'm going to pop him in the basket. <laughs> Pretty darn fun. So I am here for inspiration only. And I hope you were inspired. <laughs> so go create. Go play. But most of all, go have fun. So fun.